So in the last video for constraint layout tutorial, we created this kind of weird UI where there's some exit text at the top, then we have two buttons at the bottom left. In this video, let's create an Android login screen with constraint layout. So they'll enter in, maybe there's gonna be a logo at the top, and then we show them an email address or a place where they can enter their email address and password, and then a button that says login. So let's go back to Android Studio, and I have this file open up, the content main, and I'm not in text mode, I'm in design mode. I'm gonna go ahead and select the exit and just hit delete. That gets rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of this, select it, hit delete on your keyboard. I select it, hit delete on your keyboard. And let's go ahead and drag in an image. But in this case, I wanna, I don't actually have an image here. We could see if we have an image. Uh, we can always create one, so we can go to new, uh, then we can also go to vector image, and we can actually just create a random image. So I'll call this, um, I'll call this uh, Daniel, or I'll call this Android, Android robot. I'll hit next, finish. We don't really, so in real life this can be uh, a logo, but we'll go ahead and go over to here. We'll drag in an image view and I'll put it right there. And then we have our, if we go into project, we have our Android robot there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, actually, let's just do, let's just do that, why not? Just so there's something there. So you'll notice this is about, uh, this is both set for wrap content, but we've established in a previous video, if I were to put it in the bottom left and save it, and if I were to go back and run this and go to the emulator, we've established that it doesn't actually show up in the bottom right because it's not constrained to anything. To actually constrain it, we need to click and drag on these little, on these little circles there. So click, drag to the left, click, drag, I mean to the right, then click, drag to the top, and there's our image. So it's now constrained there. So if I were to save this and run it, you'll notice that it, it'll show up in the top right. So there it is. So I kind of want the logo to be in the center. So how can we do that? Well, with this selected, let's click and drag on that, and let's center it. So you'll notice that there's a constraint off to the left, but there's also one off to the right. So with this selected, you'll notice if you go over to the right, there'll be an attributes uh, pane here. And there are a number of things we can do here, but among them is we can go to this layout view and we can kind of toggle through these different uh, widths. So that, that one, the image doesn't go all the way because that's, that's for another reason. But you'll notice that it kind of like, see how the bounding box is right there? But if I were to go to a different mode by clicking on that, that's fixed, and then one more, it toggles it into that mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and search for something, uh, crop, uh, what is it? This is a scale type actually, I think, scale type. We'll go ahead and select scale type to, we'll do, oh, what should we do? There's a crop one, center crop, there we go. So we'll just do that. So that, that makes the logo go all the way across. So say you have a really wide logo, that, that can be great. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And this will make it more apparent. So I can either set it, I can either toggle it for a fixed amount, I can do it uh, fluidly. So this one right here, I'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Pretend that's a logo. And we need to give it an ID. So I'm gonna click on it and give it an ID of a logo image view. So there we go, there's our logo. Now what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and put an email field below there. So I'm gonna go back to, I think it's under text. And let's go ahead and just do plain, oh, let's do email. So I'm gonna click and drag in an email. I'm gonna position it right there. Then on this top arrow, I'm gonna click and drag up to the logo. Then I'm gonna click here, drag, and that aligns there. Then I'm gonna click, drag over to there and let go. And now you see our logo fields in the center there. But you'll notice it doesn't go all the way to the edges. In this case, we actually want it to go all the way to the edges. So again, we need to select that edit text, and then kind of keep, keep clicking on this icon over here, and that will actually stretch it out. So there are three different modes there. There's like fixed, and there's, but the one we want is that right there. So just keep clicking, just keep clicking the, those lines until it works just fine. And there we go. So we have that. Now let's also do password. I think there's actually one here for tap password, is there? Yeah, here we go, with the password. We'll go ahead and click and drag in password. And I'm gonna click and drag to the left there. Then I'm gonna click and drag to the right. And then we're gonna, with it selected, we're gonna go ahead and toggle through this, keep clicking on there until it looks like that. 
Then we just do click, drag up to the top, and there it goes. Then the last thing we need is a button. So let's drag in a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, drag a button. We'll put the button, we'll put it, uh, I don't know, designers would know where to put the buttons. But we'll go ahead and click, drag, let go. Click, whoops, click, drag, and let go. There we go. So this one, let's make it say, the text should be, we'll say, um, login. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's run it in an emulator. And let's go back to the emulator and we should, everything should look the same here. So there's our nice logo at the top. We can type in an email address at example.com. We also got is whatever you want your password to be. So there's our login screen. So this is very basic, but you can replace the image up there with your own logo and you can type in a username and a, or an email address and a password. And this can be the beginning for a login screen for your app. So maybe you're building a social media app. Maybe you're building a news feed app, a podcasting app, a game. Whatever it is, you're probably going to need to code a login screen. And this is a great way to do it with constraint layout. So in the next video, we'll continue on with this. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.